Here's a tip. A recent survey found 77% of Canadians don't like these tip prompts. Go ahead. Since the pandemic, they're seemingly everywhere. But are the workers always getting that money? Do you get these tips? Uh, no. We visited 100 businesses and found and around right three quarters of those places prompt for tips, sometimes making it hard to say no. At several sit-down restaurants, prompts start at 18%, even after a windshield wiper change, we're asked for a tip. A lot of people are like taken aback by the whole tip concept. Tips pop up online, self-serve kiosks, and at many fast food places. Do you get this tip? Most workers say they do, but not all. If I leave a tip, do you get this tip? You don't get it? Oh, do you know who gets it? Often called tip theft, it's illegal in several provinces, including Ontario. Still, workers there have filed nearly 800 tip theft claims this year alone. But in the territories and certain provinces, there are no tip protection laws. Advocates in Nova Scotia estimate some workers are losing thousands of dollars a year. We put out a survey uh, of workers last year and about 73 percent uh, wrote back and said that they had some experience with tip theft. If you know that the server isn't getting it, then pushing back isn't a problem. This food and tip researcher says he asks servers if they get their tips, insisting employees and customers need more transparency. And he points out many of those prompts also have us tipping on tax and we're accepting it. It's uncomfortable. And what do we do in uncomfortable situations? We try and get out of them as quickly as we can. So let's just push the button, give it back and then get out of here. Tipping isn't a social norm in other parts of the world. While living wages and tip theft laws could help workers, experts say until customers hit their tipping point, tip prompts will continue creeping higher and into more businesses. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.